Italy's Mount Etna started erupting again earlier today, sending panicked tourists running for safety. Take a look at these images. Terrifying and beautiful at the same time. That is Italy's Mount Etna, and people can't seem to stay away from the allure of the bright orange lava spewing from the world's most active volcano in Sicily. Now we want you to take a look at these terrifying pictures. It really looks like something out of a movie, doesn't it? This is Italy's Mount Etna. It erupted yesterday, sending tourists running for their lives, literally. For years, southern Italy has been home to one of the most powerful geological forces on Earth, Campi Flegre, an enormous supervolcano lurking beneath the town of Pozzuoli near Naples. This vast caldera, or crater, is a constant source of seismic activity and geological unrest, and recent studies suggest it is becoming increasingly restless. While Campi Flegre has posed a significant risk to the region for centuries, a groundbreaking study from Stanford University researchers has unveiled critical new information that could help mitigate its destructive power. Campi Flegre is an eight mile wide caldera that formed as a result of multiple catastrophic eruptions that occurred approximately 39,000 and 15,000 years ago. The area is notorious for its violent geothermal activity, which includes frequent earthquakes, land deformation, and the rise and fall of the land surface. Despite the lack of a major eruption in recent centuries, Campi Flegre has remained active with ongoing seismic activity, including a significant period of unrest in the early 1980s and another from 2011 to the present day. The caldera's eruptions are some of the most dangerous events in Italy's geological history, and the region is home to about 500,000 people who are at risk in the event of a catastrophic eruption. The recent surge in seismic activity has made Campi Flegre the focus of international geological studies as scientists work to understand the underlying causes of the caldera's restlessness. The importance of this research is clear. A large eruption at Campi Flegre could be catastrophic, not just for Italy, but for Europe as a whole, with potential global climate consequences. For years, experts have struggled to determine what exactly triggers the volcanic activity in this region. While traditional theories have pointed to magma rising from deep beneath the Earth's crust, new research by Stanford scientists has revealed a surprising new cause for the caldera's instability, trapped groundwater pressure. Recent research led by Tiziana Vanorio, an associate professor at the Stanford Doer School of Sustainability, has challenged the prevailing theory about Campi Flegre's seismic activity. For decades, scientists believed that the earthquakes and land deformation in the area were primarily driven by magma rising from the Earth's mantle. However, Venorio's team has uncovered evidence that suggests the pressure from trapped groundwater, not magma, is the real cause of seismic activity in the region. Using advanced subsurface imaging and laboratory experiments, the researchers demonstrated that when water and vapor become trapped beneath the caldera's surface, the resulting pressure can cause the caprock or surface layer to fracture, leading to earthquakes. This discovery is a major shift in how scientists understand volcanic activity in Campi Flegre and could lead to new strategies for managing the caldera's seismic risk. The team's findings were published in Science Advances and provide new insights into the mechanisms behind earthquakes and ground deformation in the region. Venorio and her colleagues revealed that the accumulation of water in the geothermal reservoir beneath Campi Flegre is the key factor that drives these phenomena. When the water is unable to escape due to the sealed cap rock, the pressure builds up until it fractures the rock, resulting in violent seismic activity. This process can cause the ground to rise and fall, as witnessed during the caldera's most recent periods of unrest. What makes this discovery even more significant is the potential for mitigating the risk of further unrest in the region. Venorio's team suggests that by managing the flow of surface water and controlling groundwater levels, they may be able to reduce the pressure within the geothermal reservoir and prevent future earthquakes. This approach could involve measures such as redirecting water runoff or withdrawing fluids from wells to alleviate pressure on the cap rock. For years, we've been monitoring Campi Flegre without understanding the full extent of the role that groundwater plays in the seismic activity, said Venorio. Now that we know how water accumulates and affects the subsurface, we can develop new strategies to prevent future eruptions and protect the people living in the area.
The Stanford researchers' findings open up new possibilities for volcanic risk management, shifting from a reactive approach, waiting for an eruption to occur, to a more proactive one that could potentially prevent seismic events before they escalate. This shift in strategy could be especially valuable for regions like Campi Flegre, where regular monitoring and early intervention are essential for protecting residents. This research is not only groundbreaking because of its focus on groundwater, but also because of how the team used historical data to uncover patterns of seismic activity over time. By analyzing imaging data from past periods of unrest, including the major seismic activity in the 1980s and the more recent period from 2011 to 2024, the researchers were able to identify recurring patterns and link them to the gradual accumulation of groundwater in the caldera. The team also found that the groundwater buildup in Campi Flegre follows predictable cycles, further reinforcing the idea that managing water flow could help stabilize the region. The combination of a advanced imaging technology and historical data has provided scientists with a new lens through which to view the volcanic activity in this area. Venorio's team has also worked with local government officials in Italy to ensure that the research is used to inform evacuation plans and disaster response strategies. The new model of Campi Flegre's inner workings could help authorities make more informed decisions about when to take action and how best to protect the population. One of the most exciting aspects of this study is its broader implications for understanding volcanic activity around the world. While Campi Flegre is unique in its geological structure, the underlying principles of groundwater pressure and its role in seismic activity could apply to other volcanic regions as well. The team's findings may pave the way for similar studies in other parts of the world, where groundwater pressure may be contributing to volcanic unrest. By applying these insights to other calderas, scientists could develop more comprehensive models of volcanic behavior, ultimately improving disaster preparedness and mitigating the risks posed by supervolcanoes. This research could transform how we approach volcanic monitoring, moving from a focus on magma and gas emissions to a more holistic understanding of how water and other fluids interact with volcanic systems. Despite the promising implications of this research, Venorio cautions that Campi Flegre remains a dangerous and unpredictable system. While managing groundwater pressure may reduce the risk of earthquakes and eruptions, the caldera is still an active volcano and its behavior can change rapidly. The researchers are continuing to monitor the region closely using advanced technologies such as subsurface tomography and seismic imaging to track changes in groundwater levels and pressure. The team hopes that by continuing to study the system in detail, they can fine-tune their predictions and develop even more effective strategies for preventing unrest. Campi Flegre is far from dormant, but thanks to the groundbreaking research from Stanford University, scientists are gaining new insights into how to manage this simmering giant and protect the people living in its shadow. With continued monitoring and improved water management techniques, the risk of a catastrophic eruption may be mitigated, offering hope for a safer future in southern Italy. The discovery that trapped groundwater, not magma, drives seismic activity in Campi Flegre represents a major leap forward in our understanding of supervolcanoes. By managing groundwater pressure, scientists may have unlocked a new way to prevent volcanic unrest before it escalates into a disaster. As the region continues to experience periodic seismic activity, this research offers a proactive solution to one of Italy's most pressing geological threats, demonstrating the power of science to protect society from natural disasters.